So I'm going to do a leap down test on this Ross 125 just to show you right over here we have a bung plug in the exhaust port and similarly we have a bung plug here let me show this in the camera in the carb side I also have a compressor and a 12 psi of air that we're going to use to pressurize the crankcase. So uh, let's go ahead and plug this in and see if we can find any leaks. So I've connected up the pressure to the crankcase and now we proceed to paint everywhere on the engine, on the seals. On the casing, casings that are cast are very notorious for uh, having air leaks. So you want to be looking at bubbles like this one here that are created and keep an eye on them to see if they get bigger. You have to paint the entire casing. Also you want to paint over all the cap screw holes as well. I found two or three of my cap screws leaking. Paint also between the barrel and the crankcase. This is looking good. I don't see any bubbles materializing anywhere. That's a really good sign on the crankcase cap screw to cover there. Also do your reed, reed block set as well, paint them. Right, let's roll him over <coughs> and disconnect the, the airline. Bring him a little closer and we hook up this side. Oops. Having this uh, very liquid or washing up liquid set mix will also help to remove any grime off your engine so you're kind of doing a cleaning process at the same time. You can kind of froth it up as you paint it to try and create some lather so that if any bubbles are materializing you'd see them forming. Again, cover the cap screws, any gaskets you can find. The Ross uh, engine is notorious for leaking on this area here, straight through the crankcase. I'm fairly pleased with that result there. I'm now just going to do the side. Disconnect the airline again. Let's see if I can get this up to show you the underside where the crankcase is good. It's very good to do that area as well. A lot of crankcases leak on this area. The best sealant I found is the Japanese, I think it's called a 123 bond. Works the best out of all the ones I've found. Into the camera, if 
few bit as you can see. I have done a leak down test of using the one way valve that I have set up on the airline and uh, after removing the airline and pressurizing the crankcase, the crankcase maintained pressure for over two minutes at 10 psi so I'm convinced this crankcase is all good. I think that's the end of the test. Thanks for watching.